let's see here. Alright, 78% cotton and 22% polyester. Well, if that's the case, then you know what to do. The most depressing thing, and the thing I've shared with the people who are on this channel before, is that at some point I had forgotten how my face looked without acne. When I got to such a low point, I, I immediately started blending turmeric with cayenne pepper and apple cider vinegar with iodine and applying it to my face. I wanted to do anything to see my face again, and when you've got problems, when you've had IBS or acne or eczema, which are all the same thing, which is a damaged digestive system, or vertigo or hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia, whatever it might be, your heart will burn with desire and you'll do anything it takes to get rid of the problem that you have. And then, after years of grinding your balls down, you f it finally clicks and you know what to do and you get rid of all your problems. When you get to this point, you start to realize that every little thing that you realize is unhealthy is having a massive impact on you long term and so for us normal people healthy people when we learn something new we immediately implement it i'm telling you this for two reasons one realize that whatever you're dealing with it's entirely possible to get rid of that and however you're feeling right now it's entirely possible to feel a thousand times better than you are right now. You see, when I discover something, I usually tell my family about it because they're present in the house and it's always good to give them more health knowledge and I thought that this was an important thing. I told this to my mother and she laughed at me. This might seem like a very, very insignificant and an important thing, but trust me, it's really important. If you wouldn't put plastic in your mouth, then you shouldn't wear plastic on your skin. I wouldn't be making a video about this if I didn't have any evidence and the evidence comes from Paul Saladino's video or at least I got acquainted with the evidence through Paul Saladino's video on the subject and I thought well I need to make a video about this so I'm gonna reference the two studies that he references and because of that check out Carnivore MD because without him this wouldn't be possible. Now in this study published in 1993 by the journal Urological Research they let dogs wear different kinds of pants for I believe it was two years and they saw the outcome on their reproductive health. In this study, we're dealing with male dogs. By the end of the 24 months, there was a significant decrease in sperm count and motile sperms, with an increase in abnormal forms. The testicular biopsy showed degenerative changes. After garment removal, the semen character improved gradually to normal in 10 dogs. Two remained oligozoospermic. There were insignificant changes in hormones during the study. In contrast, the cotton and control groups showed insignificant changes. The second study was published in 2008 by the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, I believe that's how that's pronounced, and it was written by the same guy, and they essentially did the same experiment but with female dogs, and the results were, of course, really bad. Eight bitches wearing polyester-containing textiles showed diminished serum progesterone in the oestrus of the oestrus cycle and did not conceive on mating or insemination. Five months after pants had been removed, serum progesterone of the eight dogs had normalized and they conceived. Let's go through a few points. Now, first of all, these studies were done on dogs, not humans, and that might be a sticking point for you, but trust me, a dog is a biological organism, and if you zoom in really closely on what a dog is made of, they're made of animal cells, and so are you. And these cells are very similar, so whatever results we get on dogs, you can be assured that that is gonna be very related to how that thing is gonna function in a human. Second, the studies seem to point out that the creation of an electrostatic field is what causes infertility in these dogs. Now, that seems to be true. They measured the electrostatic field and it was there, and it wasn't there in the dogs that were cotton and wool. We can assume that the same thing is gonna happen to humans. So, you're gonna get decreased sperm count and you're gonna get problems with your hormones if you're a female if you wear polyester underwear. You're also gonna get this field wherever the polyester is, so it doesn't matter if it's your underwear or not. You're gonna get problems wherever you're wearing this because remember, if it decreases sperm count, it's probably not gonna be a good thing to have anywhere else on your body. Yeah, sure, there is an electrostatic field and this seems to be a pretty complex chess puzzle, but we can actually simplify this chess puzzle a lot by removing a few pieces. Now the thing is, polyester is plastic, 
and you know how bad plastic is, right? Your skin is an organ, a very intelligent organ, and polyester is plastic, i.e. pollution, and you're putting pollution next to your skin. I think the long-term effects of putting plastic on your skin are gonna be bad because of the actual plastic, not just the electrostatic field that is created when you wear such a fabric. Remember, from an evolutionary perspective, we can only handle things that we've been exposed to for hundreds of thousands of years. We haven't been exposed to man-made chemicals until recently, and therefore it would be very unwise to sit there with plastic right around your neck. Before I give you a list of all the synthetic materials you need to avoid, Realize that you have a lot of synthetic materials that aren't your clothes that are in your house. As an example, think about your bed sheets. For the past few weeks, I've been sleeping on a duvet made from acrylic fabric, and so I'm breathing in a bunch of plastic for 8 hours every night. After watching this video, go and check your bed sheets and make sure that they're made of natural materials because otherwise you'll be exposing yourself to a bunch of pollution. If you want me to make a video about bed sheets and beds in general, which I've been researching for the past few days, make sure to comment. Remember, I can't know what you want to see unless you comment it. Now, the materials you need to avoid are acetate, acrylic, lyocell, microfiber, nylon, polyester, of course, polypropylene, polyvinyl chloride, rayon or viscose and viscose is actually a natural material that is then processed so it contains a bunch of chemicals so avoid it and spandex which is also lycra or elastin to me all of this is obvious now so a few days ago i took all the clothes that contain any of these materials and i put them in the bin if you don't want to end up like the bitches in the second study then you should too you know what the best part about this is nature attracts nature so when you switch to cotton and wool, all your clothes are gonna feel much more fresh, much more nice, and much more comfortable. Because if you compare a 100% polyester t-shirt to a 100% cotton t-shirt, you'll obviously pick the cotton one. This might seem obvious, but you might forget to do it. If you're gonna buy new clothes, remember to check the label. Remember to check the materials, because if you don't do that, you're gonna end up with more clothes with synthetic materials. Think about your liver. Now think about your kidneys, your pancreas, your heart, your lungs, and now your skin. Realize that all of those are organs, so your skin is also an organ. And since you wouldn't put plastic on your liver, or your kidneys, or your pancreas, or your heart, or your lungs, you shouldn't be putting plastic on your skin, because if you put plastic on your skin, eventually that plastic over a long period of time will end up inside of you. And if you want even more motivation, you know Paul Saladino, Carnivore MD, the guy I mentioned earlier, God bless him. He now surfs in cotton shorts. The man literally cut off the back pocket of his shorts so that he could swim faster, so that there would be less drag. And you're not even going to throw away your synthetic fabrics. If you are, then fantastic. But if you aren't, then re-watch this video because something must not have clicked. Go and achieve excellent health. I know you can do it.